what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I'm sure by now most of you have heard about microchip implants. They are identifying integrated circuit chips placed under the skin. The chip is about the size of a grain of rice and uses radio frequency identification technology. Many of these applications are already available from medical to security with human microchips. Any application used with an ID card can already be done with an implanted hand chip. Sweden seems to be the leader in human RFID implants with a company called Biohacks leading the way with over 4,000 citizens adopting the technology already. What I wanna know is, will you? Before you answer, perhaps you'd like to hear this list of pros and cons I've compiled. And I'll tell you my answer after that. Here are some of the pros. Identification, no longer does anybody have to guess who you are? Bam, they know. Just one way, they know who you are. Your medical history, they can store your medical history in the chip. And they say that this is, you know, this can have life-saving consequences uh, for medical experts. Security, you get access in and out of buildings no longer do you have to worry about losing your ID card. Faster lines at airports and even in stores. Future inventions, uh, yet to be invented GPS availability. What about that? Gun safety. If they put one of those chips inside of you, like in your hand, nobody else can fire your gun. So some people are saying that's a good thing, especially when you consider people wrestling a gun away from a police officer. That gun would have to be in very close proximity uh, to be fired. Also, it could save lives in your home. If the chip is in your hand and it's your gun, well, you don't have to worry about the kids getting a hold of the gun and shooting themselves when you're not around or you're not inside of the room, right? So here are some of the cons. Oh, a great loss of privacy. The private information will be known. Data theft. Hackers. No longer will they be hacking into your computer. They'll be hacking into you. Big Brother, the information will be used in the wrong way. And you won't have a lot of room to deny access to that information, uh, especially when you start talking about transportation, uh, banking, just moving around on a daily basis. Big Brother will know exactly where you are at all time. And here's another very, very scary one. Mandatory microchipping. Can you imagine once you we go down that rabbit hole and if you don't have a microchip, they say, well, you know, you can't travel. You can't get on the airplane. You can't get on the bus. You can't walk through certain buildings. Your kids can't even attend school. Like immunization. Like you gotta get a chat, you gotta get a chip. Oh man. Uh, Mark of the Beast. Some people think that you know this is like has biblical implications. It's all part of this grand scheme to control us. Here's my conclusion. I believe that microchipping humans 
by the masses is still a little ways off. I think it's going to take a little bit more time. But with all of these youngsters so technologically advanced, I can see it right around the corner because I can see youngsters who would be willing to sacrifice their privacy to make their lives better or to seemingly make their lives better and to make things happen faster. You know, it's all about access. Everybody wants things to happen like this. So, oh well, if I got to give up some privacy, then okay, I'll do it. I was thinking, you know, I got a new phone and the iPhone, in order to use your, to use uh, the, they have quick access to your bank account. They've taken away the, the fingerprinting thing. And now they want to use facial recognition. And I was like, hell no, hell no. I'll just go old school. I'll go all the way back to old school and get all the way off my phone and start going to the bank before I do that. But then you know how that goes. They can make it to where that becomes obsolete, where you have to actually use your phone to make banking transactions, use a chip to make banking transactions. The public would have to have, they would have to rally together. People would just have to unite and just say, no, we're, 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 we're not doing it. If half the people with it and the other half are not, they could win. Even if they got, even if they only have all of the, the politicians behind it and the the decision, you know, decision makers, if they get those people, and you, you know how they get some of these sellout celebrities, and they get some of those people together, and they say, yeah, this is cool, this is what's happening, you know, this is mandatory, and then they make a real cool commercial about it, showing people going to the doctor like this video that I saw a couple of days ago that inspired me to actually cover this. I saw a video where they, it's all fun, you know, the news uh, reporter is, he's all upbeat and like, yeah, you know, they're laughing, they're having a chip party and, and the guy is sitting there getting a the chip implanted and he say, well, how does it feel? He's like, oh, no, yeah, better than getting my wisdom tooth pulled. And everybody's like, damn, it's, it's easier than that? Oh, wow, that's cool, making it cool. Another guy goes to the vending, vending machine and does this and he gets a twink, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, a candy bar, I can't remember the name of the candy bar, but he goes and he gets a little candy bar and it's, ooh, you know, it's all about ease, ease. Fast, 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 fast. And that's how they get you, trying to make it hip. That's what they're going to do. They're going to try to make it hip. So they know if they try to force the people, they may run into some major rejection. But if they make it cool, get the in crowd involved, all the cool people on it, and then all of a sudden you're like, yeah, I guess this is cool. Then they may even give you some type of incentive. You know, get a microchip and get $200 off of something. You know, get half off, get 90% off. You know, get a, get some, get rewards, you know, on your credit card or whatever. Frequent flyer miles. They're going to do stuff like that to encourage people to chip. So I'm totally against it, man. I'm totally against it. I'm not willing to sacrifice my privacy for convenience. Nah, I'm not willing to do it. I think this is the setup for an e even like, I'm not with this. This is a bad, bad, bad idea. They already kind of know where we are everywhere we go already with all these damn cameras everywhere. You know, you can't miss it. And I'm not too mad about the cameras being places. I'm not too mad about it because there's so much crime in America. I'm not too mad about that. But to know everywhere I go, 
every damn move I make, I'm, if I move from my living room to the bathroom, you know when I'm in the damn bathroom. Depending on how long I'm in there, you know exactly what I'm doing. Hell no, I'm not with it. But what say you? Maybe you got a different opinion. Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?